hope everyone i'm geeta khatri and you are watching learn at scholar so i'm back with your new question of chapter 2 polynomials we are learning class 10 maths and chapter 2 polynomials i have already uploaded a lot of content on my channel if you haven't seen the videos the links are given in the description and in the i button we'll also find some videos on the end screen today i will solve one question that my uh, students are requesting for the last few days. So they are very confused. So I decided to solve that question for them. You can also watch that question. If there is any query, any doubt, you can ask and you can write in the comment section. I will make the videos if necessary. Otherwise, I will reply the comment. I will clear all your doubts. Hi, Mayam. I am stuck. I can't solve this problem. I have been trying to solve it for the last two days. Can you please help me? Yes, of course. Polynomial x to the power 4 plus 7x to the power 3 plus 7x to the power 2 plus px plus q is exactly divisible by x square plus 7x plus 12. So, if it is given that it is exactly divisible by this, that means the remainder is 0. And you know if the remainder is 0, then this is the factor of this. That means the second polynomial or the quadratic polynomial is the factor of the first one. Have you understood? Like uh, 10 is completely divisible by 5. So, 5 is the factor of 10. In the same manner, the second polynomial is the factor of the first one. x square plus 7x plus 12 is a factor of x to the power 4 plus 7. x cube plus 7x square plus px plus q. So, we will factorize x square plus 7x plus 12 and uh, whatever factors we get are the factors of the first polynomial. Like we will split the middle term 7x and we will get the factors of the second polynomial that is 7 uh, x square plus 7x plus 12, right? 4, 3 is 12 and 4 plus 3 is 7. So, the factors will be? 4x and 3x and then we will take x as common and uh, in bracket we will get x plus 4 and uh, 3 as common again x plus 4. The two factors are x plus 3 and x plus 4. Now when x square plus 7x plus 12 is the factor of the first polynomial that is x4 7x cube plus 7x square plus px plus q the same factors are the factors of the first polynomial. Let me explain. If gx, that means the polynomial x square plus 7x plus 12 is gx and the first polynomial is fx. That means fx is equal to x to the power 4 plus 7x cube plus 7x square plus px plus q. Then we have been given that gx is a factor of fx, right? So, whatever factors we have of gx are the factors of fx. You can understand like this, if 15 is the factor of 30, the same factor which are of 15 will be the factors of 30 also. As 3, 5 and 15 are the factors of 15, 3, 5, 15 are the factors of 30 also, right? If there is any confusion, any doubt, you can write in the comment section. I will explain and I will clear your doubt, right? Whenever you solve any question in your board exams, write the full explanation so that the examiner will be able to understand that you have grasped the concept well. Since gx is a factor of fx, so, x plus 4 and x plus 3 are the factors of fx, right? So, now what we will do, we will put the two factors in this polynomial and find out the value of p and q. x is equal to minus 4, x is equal to minus 3, right? The first equation will be formed when we put the value of x as minus 4 in the first polynomial. And the second equation will be formed when we put 
the value of x as minus 3 again in the first polynomial. So, putting the value of x as minus 4. x is minus 4. So, minus 4 to the power 4, minus 4 to the power 3, minus 4 to the power 2 and then again in place of x minus 4. We will get 2, 56, 4 to the power 4, 4 to the power 3 multiplied by 7, 4, 48, 4 to the power 2 multiplied with 7, we will get 1, 1, 2. And minus 4p plus q is equal to 0. Solving 256, 448 and 112, we will get minus 80. So, minus 4p plus q minus 80 is equal to 0. This is your equation 1. Minus 4p plus q is equal to 80. Right. So, now we will make equation 2. For this we will put the value of x as minus 3. When we put minus 3 in place of x, we will get minus 3 to the power 4 plus 7 minus 3 to the power 3 plus 7 in bracket minus 3 to the power 2 plus p in bracket minus 3 plus q. Solving this we will get 81 minus 189 plus 63 minus 3p plus q is equal to 0. Solving the 3 numbers we get minus 45. So minus 45 minus 3p plus q is equal to 0. Rearranging we get minus 3p plus q minus 45 is equal to 0. To remove the sign of minus, we will multiply by minus and get 3p minus q plus 45. Minus minus plus, so plus 3p, minus plus minus, so minus q, minus minus plus, so plus 45. This is equation 2. Now we have two equations. We will solve the two equations and find out the value of P and Q. Let us see how. These are the two equations. We need to solve these two equations using elimination method. That means we will eliminate either P or Q to find out the value of the remaining variable. The first equation has q in positive and in the second equation we have q in negative. So, we will add both the equations or polynomial and find out the value of the variable p. Plus q and minus q is 0. 
so we will be having only variable p in the polynomial or the resulting polynomial minus 4p plus 3p is equal to minus p and uh, 80 minus 45 is 35 the sign will be positive now the minus sign will be shifted to the right hand side and we will get minus 35 as the value of p putting this value of p in equation 1 uh, you can put this value in any of the equation you will find the same answer that means the value of q will be same in both the cases i am putting it in equation 1 you can also put in equation 2 and write down in the comment section whether you have found the same value or not so continuing we get minus 4 putting the value of p as minus 35 plus q is equal to 80 35 multiplied by 4 we will get 140 minus minus plus then plus q is equal to 80 then shifting 140 to right hand side we will get q is equal to 80 minus 140 the value of q finally will be minus 60 so we have solved the question find out the answer the value of p is minus 35 and the value of q is minus 60 if you have any doubt, any query, write in the comment section. Thank you, ma'am. So, have you solved that question? Have you understood? You must have understood. So, that is all for today. We will meet with the next video. I will cover all the topics of all the chapters of class 10 maths. If you want to watch, do like, share and subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.